New information says that in 2006, the Department of Homeland Security authorized the increased monitoring of planned events by peaceful activist organizations like the Tea Party, going so far as to create an internal calendar of their events. Now many are outraged, feeling their right to free speech could hang in the balance. Joining us live to talk further about this, Professor of Terrorism Law at St. Mary's University, Jeff Attica, and Houston Tea Party founder, Felicia Cravens. Uh, when did this become uh, come into your scope, scope of uh, understanding, Felicia. When did you first hear about it? Uh, well, as far as the DHS monitoring us, uh, we've had that going on even back at Tax Day 2009. This is not new to us in terms of news. Uh, well, Professor Atticott, at what point does monitoring become spying? Well, you know, the Tea Party's not going to be intimidated by these knuckleheads, and that's probably what they're trying to do by leaking these announcements. Uh, but does the government have the right in a open forum to, you know, look at people? Yeah, they do. I mean, if you're out in public and whatever you're doing, you're exposing yourself to public, you don't have a, a reasonable expectation of privacy. But on the other side, there is this chilling effect when you have these draconian announcements by the government that we're watching you. Uh, they're trying to intimidate people, obviously, but uh, in the case of the Tea Party and uh, other patriotic groups, that's not going to work. Yeah, I was going to say, Jeff, this is more in the announcement than it is in the actual activity. Yeah, I mean, they're doing this, obviously, to, to, as I said, to try to intimidate people to say that, you know, we are watching you. And, of course, that runs against American values that we don't want to be watched. And that's the whole thrust of the Tea Party is that the damn government, pardon my French, is too big and too intrusive in our lives. Felicia, are you concerned that this may discourage people from rallying or, or getting together? It has. It already has in the past. We've had many times... Uh, reports from people coming in when we've asked them to show up at a Pelosi protest or come downtown to make a particular point, uh, they have been in, uh, indicating they've been intimidated by the fact that these stories come out, by the fact that the government would be watching what they're doing and monitoring. I'm wondering, Jeff, if uh, pressure from members of Congress could get the Department of Homeland Security to stop this behavior. Well, again, the behavior goes on, and it's not really stopping the behavior. It's stopping the uh, the chilling effect and the constant announcement that we are watching. Well, that's you. what I, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I hope it does because. Uh, but on the other hand, of course, it. You know, when you have this type of pressure, you've got the true believers out there, and those people again are not going to be intimidated. And I would hope it to have the opposite effect in the future, as we move towards the 2012 elections, where people, you know, say enough is enough is enough, and. Uh, and try to take back the country in terms of uh, having a limited government as our founders wanted. All right. Thanks very much to both of you. Professor of Terrorism Law at St. Mary's University in San Antonio, Jeff Atticott, and Houston Tea Party founder, Felicia Cravens.